very kind. We're very, very proud to be back here at the Flemington Bowl Club. Memphis is way cool. But the very bottom line is that without the Melbourne Blues Appreciation Society, we would not have been in Memphis. So thank you very much for your wonderful community and support and the ability to, uh, to get us over there without, without which we wouldn't have been able to do that, which was a very, very huge bonus. Uh, if you didn't know the story already, Tim and Shannon we, we were at going to the museum to have a look, as you would, the history and all the amazing stuff that's there. And at the very end of the tour, Tim liberally sits down at Jerry Lee Lewis's piano and uh, pricks up the ears of the guy there who sort of says, you know, it's still a recording studio functioning. It's still got all the old stuff, the original mics and the original tape delay and all the stuff. But it still works. We've got five hours on a Monday, you want them? And these guys just came home and said, well, we're recording at some. <laughs> oh! That's a bit exciting. So it was just a heap of fun. And uh, we got given the royal treatment. It was only five hours. We could have done just a few songs. We ended up with 12. We were really happy about it. Yeah, most of it done in one take. We just were very excited. And it sounds bloody fantastic. We got it mixed on a, an original desk from Stax that was living in a church um, in Texas. I don't need more of that fallback. Thanks, Rob. Um, if you could pull that back down, I don't know that would, unless that's just risen up weirdly. Um, but uh, yeah, so we, yeah, we're we very happy about it and um, reckon you should take one home for good keeping. <laughs> Side, you know that I'm beside you all the way. 
with a bass player called Amos Shee in a number of years. He wrote the next song and we'd like to thank him for that and also welcome our new bass player, Zoe Freider.
Let's do a little soul blues ballad. It's another original. We're playing all originals at the top of the set. Throw a few fun old loves toward the end. This is called I Can't. <laughs>
first song of the album we get a bit carried away and then we sort of bring it down which is what we're going to do next um, you can see Stephanie at the back there if you want one of these fine records we actually got this released through Cheer Squad Records beautiful mob independent people doing great things for artists and uh, you might remember they re-released the classic uh, Live at the Continental Chris Wilson and uh, that was a great thing for them to do and uh, Sorry, I'm just a bit out of breath. <laughs> happens every now and then. Um, we're only just starting to get back into gigs, you know. When I was in my 20s and we played every night, at least once, sometimes twice, there was really no 
limit. Anyway, the point is, um, <laughs> is that the uh, next song is the first song that we recorded in the studio and we were really, um, we just wanted to stretch out, we just wanted to get comfortable and, and it, it felt really, really lovely. And of course the studio engineer hadn't heard us before, didn't know us from a bar of soap and he put the mic on at the end and he went, Jesus, I thought the gates of hell were opened up when the guitar solo started. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you ain't seen nothing yet. So, so, more things There's no pressure. Shannon doesn't experience pressure. He just experiences brilliance. I don't, I haven't seen or heard anything different, have you? I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you're going to do it in the most musical way possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can make a mistake and get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
We'd like to feature uh, Tim Neal on this last beautiful tune. I wish I knew how it feel to be free.